to pay. She got her a seven figure payday. But will that save Tiger's billion dollar image? The first sports star to be a billion dollar man or has the damage already been done from the perspective of his sponsors? Joining us now, attorney Vicki Ziegler. What do you think, Vicki? I mean, you've got Oh, Nike, Gatorade, Electronic Arts, all these guys doing business with, with Tiger. Initially, they said, we stand by him. The Florida police said it's not that big a deal. It's a misdemeanor. But now, woman after woman supposedly coming out. Major problem. I mean, his image is clearly tarnished. She's going to have to do a lot of shelling out to a lot of people. The women that he's apparently had affairs with, that's a different story. I think I find it sleazy to start paying off people to, you know, kind of hush money. And at the end of the day, when somebody pays somebody off not to speak, they can go tell their friend or their family member, and all of a sudden the story's leaked anyway. So I think from that perspective, I, I would definitely shy away from it if I was representing Tiger and giving him advice. But on the other hand, when we talk about his wife, that's a different story. I certainly think that the world wants to see him do right by her and actually give her more money and make, make him look like he's the, the family man doing the right thing for wait his minute, wait wife and children. Give her money. Mm -hmm. Give her money in what context? I mean, she's his wife. Doesn't she just automatically have access to half of it? No, absolutely not. It's reported that they have a prenuptial agreement, and in that agreement, apparently, she was only to acquire $20 million if they're married for 10 years. Right now, they're only married five. So it's talk we have to renegotiate the prenuptial You're agreement. You're assuming that there's going to be a divorce, though. Well, no, not necessarily. Assuming that she needs to think about things nice. and get financial security, because what happens if he cheats again? At least she knows now that she has enough money before the 10-year limit expires. In light now of sleazy details, not all of which are true, but right. stuff that's coming out, does he lose these sponsorships now? Or just they don't get renewed? Well, it's a great question. There are morality clauses that say that they can absolutely cancel these uh, sponsors out outright. But the problem is they make a lot of money from Tiger Woods. I mean, come on, he's the richest golfer and, and making a billion dollars in earnings obviously since 2002 so I think they're gonna stick by him but it really depends on what he's gonna do moving forward even I think if these watching, drug stories pan out well very problematic I think they're watching very closely right now and I think they're very unsure I mean Gatorade and Gillette obviously have st stood by him at this point but I think this is just I should mention it's, it's again it's all rumor sure. but the, the suggestion by one of the mistresses is maybe drugs and sex went together here. sure and th there could be more women there that's what everyone is talking about and at the end of the day when I represent my clients that are high celebrity high profile individuals you have to talk to them about being smart and we don't counsel them on if you're gonna cheat don't you leave a voicemail and say hi it's tiger but come on this is a <laughs> this is a, a man that's making millions role model children I mean let's think about this so I think he's got some serious yeah. paying to do depends on where he's going to put his dollars That's to keep right. his image. It was, hi, it's Tiger. Uh, please get rid of the phone message. Not such Good a to see you. Thank you so Vicky much. Vicki Ziegler, thanks Thank very you. much. Double dips.